Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Today's question is, can I analyze the case of Aaron Patterson? Just a reminder, I'm not diagnosing you by this video, only speculating about what could be happening in a situation like this. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, subscribe to my channel, and consider supporting me on Patreon. I'll put the link to Patreon in the description for this video. First, I'll look at the background of this case, move to the timeline of the incident, then offer my analysis. This case takes place in Leongatha, Victoria, Australia, which is about two hours southeast of Melbourne. It is a small farming community, which is home to about 5,800 people. Every September, the town hosts a daffodil festival. In the summer of 2023, an army of reporters descended on the town, not because of a celebration involving daffodils, but rather due to a tragedy involving mushrooms. This brings me to Aaron Patterson. 48-year-old Aaron Patterson lives in a house in Leongatha and owns a townhouse east of Melbourne. The townhouse is worth over a million dollars. She inherited it after her parents died in 2019. Aaron had been married to a man named Simon Patterson. They had a son and a daughter together. The couple separated but maintained a relationship for the sake of their children. Now moving to the timeline of the incident. On Saturday, July 29, 2023, Erin Patterson hosted a lunch at her house. Seven people, not including Erin, were supposed to attend this lunch. Erin's estranged husband, Simon, their two children, Simon's parents, Gail and Don, both 70 years old, Gail's 66-year-old sister, Heather Wilkinson, and Heather's 68-year-old husband, Ian Wilkinson. The idea behind this lunch was for Erin to make her case to win back Simon. She was desperate to reunite with him and wanted to convince Simon's parents, Gail and Don, that getting back together was a good idea. Ian Wilkinson was a pastor at a local church. He was there as a mediator. It's not clear why Heather was there, perhaps just to be with her husband. Simon's parents were not members of the Aaron Patterson fan club. They didn't think that she was good enough for their son. At the last minute, Simon decided not to attend the lunch, but the lunch proceeded anyway with Aaron, Gail, Don, Heather, Ian, and Aaron's two children. The four older guests were served beef wellington, which was made with mushrooms. Aaron apparently did not eat the beef wellington, and she prepared a different meal for her children. It's not clear why Erin avoided the meal that she served to her older guests. At about midnight, which was several hours after the lunch had concluded, Gail, Don, Heather, and Ian started complaining about various symptoms, like nausea and stomach cramps. Their conditions worsened overnight. All four of them were admitted to a local hospital the next day. Reportedly, a fifth adult also went to the hospital, but was discharged. It's not clear who that was, but Aaron was the only other adult who attended the lunch. Maybe she went to the hospital after learning what happened to the others. She wanted to be on the safe side. Physicians thought that the four older adults had something like food poisoning or some other condition which would not be expected to result in death. However, they soon realized that the situation was more serious and transported all four patients to a hospital northeast of Melbourne. On August 4, 2023, Gail Patterson and Heather Wilkinson died in the hospital. The next day, Don Patterson died as well. So both of Simon's parents died, as well as Gail's sister Heather. At the time making this video, Ian Wilkinson, who was at the lunch to mediate, is in critical condition. The police launched an investigation. They said that these symptoms of the victims were consistent with eating a mushroom called death cap. These mushrooms are among the most poisonous mushrooms in the world. Erin allegedly told the police that she had purchased the mushrooms from a local store. This seems difficult to believe. Everybody knows that supermarkets clearly mark their mushroom selections as fatal and non-fatal. On August 7, the police reported that Erin Patterson was being treated as a person of interest. That same day, Erin spoke to the media. She appeared to be crying and distressed. Aaron said, quote, My mom passed away four years ago, and Gail had never been anything but good and kind to me. Unquote. She went on to say, quote, 
Ian and Heather were some of the best people I'd ever met. They never did anything wrong to me, unquote. Aaron denied any involvement in their deaths by saying, quote, I didn't do anything. I love them, and I'm devastated that they're gone, unquote. Aaron refused to answer questions about where the mushrooms came from. She did not explain why she and her children did not eat the same meal as the victims. At another point, Aaron became angry with reporters for allegedly making her a prisoner in her own house. She complained, quote, I've got tons of friends who want to help, but I've told them to stay away while all the vultures are here because they don't want to be in the papers either, unquote. On August 10, she was spotted leaving her house carrying a large suitcase. She informed reporters that she was on her way to meet with her lawyers. In a curious twist, lawyers from her law firm were seen at her house at 5 p.m. that day with a letter for her. Apparently, they were trying to reach her, but it was difficult to do so. Aaron's electronic devices had been seized by the police. Aaron was spotted on August 11, just after 2 p.m., withdrawing money from an ATM. This is where the situation stands at the time I'm making this video. I'm sure that there will be many more updates to this case. Now moving to my analysis. Here are my thoughts on a few areas that stood out to me in this case. Item number one. As I mentioned, the police think that the fatalities in this case were caused by death cap mushrooms. These mushrooms are incredibly dangerous. They kill between 10 and 30 percent of people who ingest them and are responsible for 90% of lethal mushroom poisoning globally. Death cap mushrooms are pleasant tasting and look similar to edible mushrooms. The mushrooms retain their deadly quality even after being cooked. Six to 24 hours after being consumed, victims experience a number of symptoms like vomiting and stomach pain. The symptoms can be confused with other less serious illnesses Therefore, the victims may not be inclined to seek medical attention. After this first round of symptoms, victims typically experience a marked improvement in the way they feel. However, this is misleading. The mushrooms are still killing them by causing irreversible liver and kidney damage. In fatal instances, death typically occurs 7 to 10 days after eating the mushrooms. Item number two, various people who know Erin Patterson have offered descriptions of her to the media. Erin has been described as naive and into unicorns. She has a blunt manner and is not a fan of small talk. She mostly keeps to herself. The relationship with her estranged husband, Simon, is characterized by a sense of oddness. It would have been helpful if whoever offered that description elaborated, but they did not. From 2018 to 2020, Erin edited a local newspaper, in the September to November 2019 edition, there was an article about teaching people how to grow their own mushrooms. This makes it seem like Aaron may have possessed some knowledge of mushrooms. Item number three, Aaron's estranged husband, Simon Patterson, reported that he collapsed at his home in May of 2022. He had some type of mysterious illness. Simon spent 21 days in intensive care and underwent three emergency surgeries. At times, he was not expected to live. It does not appear as though the cause of his illness has ever been determined. There were periods of time where Simon felt a bit off. These episodes often coincided with times he spent with Aaron. Simon has indicated that he has no intention of reuniting with Aaron. This may be because Simon has a desire to continue living. Item number four, one major question in this case is this. Could Aaron Patterson have been responsible for the deaths? The police mentioned that she is being treated like a person of interest, but they have also noted that the circumstances that led to the deaths could be very innocent. Aaron has not been charged with any crime. Let's take a look at the evidence both for and against the idea that Aaron could have been responsible. Starting with the inculpatory factors. Aaron's estranged husband, Simon, fell victim to a mysterious illness in May of 2022 and generally did not feel well after spending time with her. Aaron and Simon were separated. Sometimes separations can lead to desperate actions, including violence. On the day of the fatal lunch, the parties were meeting to discuss a potential reunion between Aaron and Simon. Clearly, 
there were still a lot of strong feelings. Aaron prepared the meal that was connected to the death of the victims. In theory, she had prepared many meals in her life, which did not kill people. Why was this meal different? For some reason, Aaron and her children did not consume the same meal as the victims. The victims became seriously ill, and there would be fatalities, yet Aaron and her children were fine. The deaths are consistent with the consumption of death cap mushrooms. Aaron may have been familiar with mushrooms. The police recovered a food dehydrator from a local landfill, which had been disposed of the day after the lunch. If the food dehydrator belonged to Aaron, why would she have thrown it away? Aaron allegedly claimed that she purchased the mushrooms that she used in the fatal meal from a local store. Supermarkets do not sell lethal mushrooms. This would be bad for business, mostly because of the dying part. Also, if for some reason the supermarket did sell the poisonous mushrooms, why didn't anyone else in the area die? The police have not warned the local community about killer mushrooms on the loose, which makes it seem as though they do not believe Aaron's story. Moving to the exculpatory factors, the guest at the lunch could have been poisoned by something other than mushrooms served by Aaron, perhaps something that they ate before or after the lunch. Maybe one of them was the perpetrator, or there was some other perpetrator who remains unknown. The contamination could have been accidental. Maybe Aaron really did shop in the poison food section of her local supermarket. She may have been attracted by a sign that read, Need ideas for a killer meal? We've got you covered. Aaron did not have a strong motive to harm any of the victims. She was meeting with them in order to get Simon back. One would think that killing them would not be an optimal strategy to achieve that goal. Furthermore, in theory, Aaron believed that Simon was going to attend the lunch. Was she planning on killing him as well? How would that make sense considering her reunion desire? If it was her plan from the beginning to wipe everyone out, why not reschedule the lunch for another time when all her victims would be available? When considering the limited amount of evidence that is available so far, do I think that Aaron Patterson was responsible for the deaths? In my opinion, she probably was responsible. However, it is important to note that she has not been charged, and this could have been just an unlikely accident. Maybe the perpetrator was the phantom of the Daffodil Festival. He was worried that the mushrooms were going to launch their own festival, and he wanted to sour their image. Now moving to my final thoughts. The case of Aaron Patterson can be summarized in this way. A melancholic maiden, muddled in the misery of unrequited love, migrated on a melodramatic mission to mend her mangled marital mosaic. In a meticulous maneuver, she marshaled members, including a middleman, to a midday meal. She mingled malevolent mushrooms into their midst, and mortality materialized. Might she manifest as a malefactor? Or is she mired in a mesh of misunderstanding? Malicious mushrooms morph this mystery into a montage of mayhem and mistrust. Was it mushroom murder or mushroom misfortune? Those are my thoughts on the case of Aaron Patterson. Please put any opinions and thoughts in the comment section. They always generate an interesting dialogue. As always, I hope you found my analysis of this topic to be informative. Thanks for watching.